the twilight hush settles over the Mojave as the wind skims the dunes and the desert air tastes of dust and sage. At the lip of a wind-smoothed ridge, a Mojave dune weevil shoulders its way into the fading light, its ridged back catching the last lemon glow of the sun. It shakes free a few grains of sand, its body the precise color of the dune itself, so that a passing kit fox sees only ripples and shadow, a landscape breathing in the cool of the evening. This creature keeps to the edge of night for a reason. By day, the ground can scorch, a searing plate hot enough to cook life. But the evening cool is its signal to begin, a narrow window of opportunity in a world of extremes. The first and most striking fact about this desert survivor is its armor. Those raised, fused wing covers, known as elytra, are not for flight. They are a fortress. Sealed tight along the midline, they lock away the fragile true wings, protecting them from the abrasive sandstorms that can strip paint from steel. More importantly, this seal creates a vault, trapping precious moisture against its body, a living canteen in a land defined by thirst. You will almost never see this weevil fly. It has traded the sky for a chance to conquer the sand. Its entire body is an exercise in conservation. A waxy skin beneath the shell further slows evaporation, and its sandy gray color is no accident. It reflects the relentless sun, reducing the heat absorbed during the hottest hours. All this armor buys time, the most valuable currency in a place where time itself seems to evaporate. But to survive here, it needs more than a shield. It needs tools. And that brings us to its most remarkable feature, the long curved snout known as a rostrum. This is not just a nose. It is a masterpiece of natural engineering. Steady and strong, it ends in a set of tiny, powerful jaws. With this built-in drill, the weevil can bypass the tough, dry outer layers of a plant to feed where the juice still runs, hidden from the wind and the sharp beaks of predators. For a female, the rostrum serves an even greater purpose. It is a probe, a drill, and a nursery tool all in one. She uses it to bore a neat, clean portal into the stem of a dune evening primrose, gauging the softness of the tissue within. Then, with surgical precision, she places a single egg where the tender plant will feed the next generation from the inside out. A life gifted and sustained by a tool that is both a straw and a cradle. Watch how it moves. Each step is a calculation. On long, spindly legs, it can stilt, lifting its belly high above the hot ground to let the cooler air flow underneath. Its feet, tipped with curved claws and tiny pads, give it traction on the shifting grains, turning each push into forward motion rather than a skid. This deliberate tripod gait leads to our third incredible fact. It leaves behind a trail of the faintest pinpricks, a dotted curve so light that a single gust of wind can erase it by dawn. In a world where predators backtrack, leaving no trace is a form of invisibility. This ephemeral footprint is a testament to an economy of movement, a strategy that conserves energy and rewrites its history with every breeze. But the desert is never truly empty. A shadow glides across the sand, the silent wings of a nighthawk. A sidewinder etches fresh tracks along a slipface. Suddenly, the weevil freezes. Its matte, micro-sculptured armor scatters the faint starlight, erasing its silhouette. If stillness isn't enough, it employs another defense, a strategy known as thanatosis. It plays dead. Legs tuck tight, the snout folds in, and it becomes an inert, armored pebble, forgotten by the wind and uninteresting to a hunter looking for movement. This stillness can outlast the patience of a predator, the heavy exoskeleton shrugging off drifting sand until the danger passes. And when quiet returns, it unfurls and resumes its journey as if nothing had ever stirred. 
This constant dance with danger highlights a fourth, hidden adaptation. To find food and avoid threats in a world with no landmarks, the weevil reads three invisible streams of information at once. Its antennae, packed with sophisticated receptors, parse the delicate perfumes of the night, singling out the sweet breath of blooming primrose from hundreds of feet away. Its legs and the fine hairs on its body feel the faintest vibrations carried through the sand. The distant drum of a kangaroo rat, the skitter of a scorpion, a pebble's tick in a new breeze, steering it away from trouble it cannot see. It is a navigator that listens with its feet and sees with its sense of smell. Even its breathing is a strategy. The desert night conserves what the day would steal, and the Mojave dune weevil embodies this principle. It can tighten the rhythm of its breathing holes, the spiracles along its body, to throttle water loss, holding its breath for minutes at a time. This is the fifth amazing fact about this creature, its ability to consciously manage its own respiration to conserve every last molecule of water. It drinks almost exclusively from its food, chemically pulling water from the plant starches it consumes. This thrifty physiology allows it to go for weeks, even months, without a single drop of free water, a critical advantage as desert nights grow hotter and droughts lengthen. This humble navigator is more than a curiosity. It is a blueprint for the future. Engineers study its micro-textured surfaces to design tougher, abrasion-resistant materials. Its sealed seams and water-saving spiracles inform new designs for conserving fluids in harsh environments. Its flexible drilling mechanism inspires small-scale robots that can move and work on soft, unstable ground without causing collapse. Each small survival trick perfected over millions of years could inspire a big idea for us, from disaster search drones to gentle agricultural monitors. As the first hint of dawn threatens the eastern sky, the weevil's work is done. It finds a suitable spot on the lee slope of a dune and begins to disappear. It doesn't dive, it slides. Using its forelegs as scoops and its ridged back as a tiny plow, it works its way under the surface. Grains of sand tick, settle, and swallow the armored oval until it vanishes completely, leaving only a dimple that the morning wind will soon heal. Down in the cool, stable darkness, insulated from the coming heat, it will wait for twilight to return. From its impenetrable armor to its precision drill of a snout, from its ghost-like footprints to its ability to breathe by the sip, the Mojave dune weevil is a master of survival. Its life is a quiet testament to adaptation, a living signal of the health of these fragile, beautiful dunes. Which of its incredible characteristics did you find the most fascinating? The sand-sliding burrow? The antennae that find a flower in the dark? or that water-sparing breath that defies the desert itself? Let us know in the comments below.